bitch, okay? Girl, it is March the 16th, and it is 85 fucking degrees outside, okay? I do want to make no... Girl, I ain't got on no makeup. I ain't got on no eyelash. I do have on a little bit of eyeliner that is low-key smudging right now because, girl, it's so damn hot. I was sweating like a mofo, okay? Girl, I just had to start this video off by saying that we is going to die this goddamn summer. Just saying, I keep telling y'all in my videos that it get hotter and hotter every single year okay every single year it gets hotter and hotter girl it is march 16th it is 85 degrees outside what the fuck temperature is gonna be in july girl we gonna die around this piece okay i tried to low-key keep and turn my air on right now but girl okay i had my i got one of those little fans that swivel you know with the thermostat on it you know and it was it was doing its job up until the goddamn sun came out bitch okay girl it is so hot Okay, it is ridiculous. I don't go nowhere when it's hot because I, my sweat glands don't really work too well. So, whenever I go outside, if I get the girl, I don't sweat. I will literally pass the fuck out up here where my office and stuff is in my bedroom, which is where I spend most of my time. It gets so hot up these stairs because I live in a townhouse. I can't I can't deal with this type of heat, girl. What is it going to be like in July? I'm scared. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I am seriously scared for this summer. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into... um these stories that we need to talk about. And while I'm starting this video off, y'all know I don't, I'm not politically correct. I'm not just going to hop into shit, okay? Look, I do want to let y'all know, I do know who Bette Midler is now. Now, see, the reason why I said I didn't know who she was at the time, now, I did not know her by name. I will tell that truth. I did not know her by name. But when y'all kept coming for me, girl, in a, not in a bad way, but when y'all kept coming for me like, bitch, how do you not know who Bette Midler is? I literally went to her profile and I looked at her picture because I didn't look at her picture before. I did not know her by name. I know that's bad too, but I didn't. But when I went and looked at her, I was like, oh my fucking God, how the fuck did I say I did not know her? Now, a lot of those movies and stuff that y'all was calling out, I have never seen like The Rose and some of the other ones, I literally have never seen. But when somebody said, you know, she was the head witch, you know, the main character witch on Pocus Pocus, and bitch, that's my absolute favorite Halloween movie, bitch. So I was like, oh my God, how the fuck did I not know that her name was Bette Miller? But I, I just wanted to make that mental note so y'all y'all can stop going in on you because y'all still leave a comments under that video like, bitch, are you serial, girl? Are you serial? But yeah, I'm apologizing for that in advance. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about um, the, the big shindig that has been going on is the fact that Rosa Wilson has recently popped the question to a Sierra, okay, girl? And she, of course, said yes. He took her on this uh, possible 30 location, like Russian roulette um, travel destination where they did not know where they were going to land. You know how when you play Russian roulette, you don't know where the fuck going, the bullet going to come out or whatever the fuck you play. Yeah, he took her on this Russian roulette travel destination. So he gave her a possible 30 locations, 30 destinations, and he ended up landing like on this little island situation. It was super duper beautiful, y'all. But he popped the question to her out there. He posted a, um, a, a video on his Instagram account basically saying she said yes and of course she was like god is good etc etc and a very 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 you can clearly tell that they're very very happy so shout out to russell wilson and sierra and this damn hair is going to get on my fucking nerves i already know but shout out to russell wilson and sierra and of course the internet was going ham on um future's fucking social media account they went over to this man instagram account and girl they was posting all kind of fucking ring pictures and all kind of shit the shit was hilarious y'all um but i already knew they was going to be petty but he hasn't said anything in regards to their um, engagement, which he shouldn't, what the fuck, it, it's not really, it's not any of his fucking business, to be really honest with you, but, since we're talking about Sierra and, um, Russell Wilson, let's talk about Russell Wilson's petty-ass ex-wife at this point, the fact that you didn't already, you didn't divorce this dude, you didn't move down with your fucking life, you divorced him back in, was it, 2014, 13, whatever, okay, he started dating Sierra in 2015, and now he popped the question and asked her to marry him, this motherfucker, okay, her name is Ashton Wil Wilson or Williams or some shit like that, don't, it really is fucking irrelevant, but she decided a couple of hours or moments after he announced the, his engagement to Sierra. She posted a picture of the ring that he gave her as her profile picture on Twitter. And I'm thinking to myself, bitch, you seriously that fucking petty to the point where you're going to post your, your old engagement ring or your old uh, whatever the fuck ring it was onto your... Um, Twitter account is your profile picture basically bragging saying that her ring is bigger now You already know the blogs and all these other people had to get a professional to come in and um, Low-key appraise these fucking rocks. Okay, not that Sierra and this girl took their rings to this to, to this jewel jeweler But he apparently was able to look at the, 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 the photos and he was able to tell which one was actually 
you know, the bigger one and which one was the, the, the better quality one. Apparently, he said that, of course, her, the, the, the ex-wife's ring is bigger, of course. But he said that Sierra's ring is better quality. It has better, some shit that he called girl when it comes to them, you know, jeweler terms. I don't really know. I really can care fucking less, okay? But he said that hers better quality is valued up upwards to around 2 to $2.5 million dollars. Who the fuck cares, girl? If you got a man who loves you enough to pop the question to you to ask you to marry him, but I understand when you have celebrities, they live up to a higher status quo. They have to, you know, prevent this, pre present this certain image to people. And of course, you know, rings and clothing and things like that are very, very important to them. So I can understand why they would give a fuck, but you know, to a motherfucker like me, you know, motherfucker, goddamn, if a man love you enough to put a ring on it, girl, he love you enough to put a ring on it, fuck the how much it costs. I'm not one of them people that'll sit there and be like, oh, he gave me this liberty ass ring. I don't want to fucking marry his ass. But um, shout out to Sierra and Russell Wilson. Congratulations on their engagement, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Future for not being petty, though. Um, I wasn't really expecting this Ashton Wilson or whatever the fuck her name is chick to come out of the woodworks. I didn't even know who the fuck she was. Y'all know how I am with not knowing who the fuck people are when they are irrelevant. But congratulations are in order for that and of course people want to say the fact that he's tired of waiting to, 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 to have you know lay down with sierra etc etc girl ain't that the point okay ain't that the fucking point how many niggas you'll get to marry you just to have sex with you girl not very many okay not very many so the fact that this man decided to put a ring on it before he laid down with her and he dated her and he um treated her like the queen that she is for a whole year however long they were dating then he popped the question and then after they do that they're gonna have some shindiggas what the fuck is wrong with that girl seriously let's move on okay let's move the fuck on let's talk about um uh, uh i want to give y'all an update on the oj simpson situational really really quick okay the night that they found on the oj simpson estate the old oj simpson estate that was demolished it it had no dna on it and i mean my thing is this okay ladies and fucking gentlemen if i didn't say this in my last video i do want to make a note that i do thick chick vlogs opinion i feel like either oj simpson did the shit or he know who the fuck did it. That's just my personal opinion. I know people have differences of opinions. People have told me to go watch certain documentaries and I probably will in the future, but it still remains that I feel like he did the shit. Just saying. But at the end of the day, you have tried this man. He has been found not guilty, okay? You have tried him. He has been found not guilty. So please explain to me what the fuck was this going to I guess it was just for, um, you know, for, for them to know because they couldn't try him again because it'll be double jeopardy but um the, the it came back that the knife had no dna on it so it, it ain't shit they can do with that anyway and which was over 20 fucking years i mean how much dna did they expect to find on the fucking knife that was buried and then this dude had his fucking house all this time that shit would have been tainted like a motherfucker just saying okay man probably hadn't washed the damn knife into damn way just saying but um that's what's going on with that. And of course, we already know O.J. Simpson is about to die, die in jail. Whether you want to believe it or not, O.J. Simpson will die in jail, okay? He will. Then we already know what he's in there for. He's not in there for take, going and stealing his shit back. O.J. Simpson should have been out of jail for that. We already know what he's in there for right now. He is in there for the murder of um, his ex-wife and her boyfriend. Just fucking saying Ronald Goldman, okay? Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. We already know that's what he's in there for. Even though they're not going to tell us that. We already know that's what he in there for. He's going to die in there, okay? Because we know he got all these health problems that's going on here right now. Motherfucker can barely see. Of course, his goddamn mind and shit fucked up. And especially when you've been a football player and you're getting hit and over and over and over again for several years. You're going to have some fucked up brain cells and shit going on up in your, you know, in your head and things like that. So, yeah, that's all the fuck that's going on with um, O.J. Simpson right now. They didn't find shit. Um, they're gonna have to move the fuck on. So, uh, move on to the next motherfucking victim. Uh, just saying. Because, I mean, that's that's pretty much what it is right now. We just gonna, uh, we gonna, we just gonna see him rolling OJ Simpson out of that jail. In a goddamn body bag. Because they not finna let him out of jail, y'all. They not. Just saying. Moving on. Now, the next topic we're gonna talk about is the fact that Anonymous Girl, we're gonna talk about that old shaggy head ass dog that y'all know I cannot stand, okay? Donald fucking Trump. Uh, Anonymous has declared war on Donald Trump, okay? Not just any kind of war. They are declaring war on him in the form of revealing his social security number, his date of birth, his address, all that type of shit. And they are enlisting the help of people on the internet to assist them in this you know leaking of his information things that you know uh, and apparently things that he doesn't want people to know y'all don't know donald trump and hillary clinton won big in florida rubio dropped out of the race um oh goddamn i'm gonna talk about this motherfucker in a second but i'm, I'm not gonna even mention this motherfucking ass right now 
But um, oh goddamn, Bernie Sanders decided. Matter of fact, I will talk about him right now. Uh, not Bernie Sanders. Um, fuck is his name? Ben Carson decided that he wanted to endorse Donald Trump because his motherfucking ass couldn't. You know, he 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 couldn't. Basically, he couldn't make it in the motherfucking race. So he decided to piss a lot of people off. I decided that he wanted to endorse Donald Trump. Now I know there are a lot of people who are on my personal Facebook page and who are on my Thick Chick Vlogs Facebook page, uh, people who make YouTube videos that I watch, etc., who um, are in support of Donald Trump, you know? And I look, I'm, 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 hey, you can have whatever opinion you want to have, but let me just say something. Um, I, I just side out people that sit there and, and, and like to um, justify half of the shit that Donald Trump says. And I know Donald Trump has no filter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He's entitled to his opinion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But motherfucker. Come on. I mean, like I said, I just, I mean, not that I would just sit there and tell somebody, don't talk to me if you're a supporter of Donald Trump, but it just makes me sad at you just a little bit. Just fucking saying. But like I said, they are threatening to um, leak his social security number, his address, his date of birth, et cetera, et cetera. But we already know Donald Trump ain't going to sit back and just allow this shit to happen. Donald Trump ain't no Rudy Poo ass motherfucker, okay? Donald Trump is just as rich as, um, uh, 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 he has, let me just say, he has more, just as much power as these anonymous people by, in the form of money. He can definitely pay people to prevent these things from happening to him. So I don't know how successful they're going to be in leaking his social security number, leaking his um, address, his date of birth. I mean, they, you can pretty much find his date of birth anywhere, but leaking all of this other information, I'm not sure how successful they're going to be with that because Donald Trump is a very, very powerful person in the form of having money as they are in being hackers. And speaking of anonymous, okay, the anonymous hackers, I just have a little bit of a request, okay, to the anonymous hackers. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous, wh whoever you just so happen to be, whatever your gender, gender just so happens to be, why don't you do some shit like, you know, hack into the trans union, equal facts and uh, 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 all that type of shit. Hack into that shit and change some of these goddamn credit scores, okay? How about you hack into the goddamn Sally Mae um, uh, system and just d delete all these goddamn student loans? Y'all, Why don't y'all do some shit like that? Not saying that I don't feel like Donald Trump needs to be exposed because I do, but when it comes to leaking people's social security number, that type of shit, I mean, that's low-key kind of, you know. Uh, true enough, Donald Trump is a motherfucking fool and I don't like his ass, but I don't really think you should be leaking the man's social security number. But you need to hack into these goddamn uh, uh, credit score people and these goddamn student loan folks. Hack into their shit and erase some of this goddamn debt. Just goddamn says it. Okay, girl? Thank God, bitch. I have to brag for a second, y'all. You know, I had to brag on my goddamn credit score, bitch. I don't, I don't mind bragging on my shit, girl. A bitch credit score is girl. When I tell y'all, God is good, okay? God is very, very good to you, girl, okay, girl? I am, my, uh, just, let, let's just say I'm very, very happy, okay? I'm very, very happy at this particular point with my credit score. Bitch has almost absolutely no that zero, girl. I'm so excited, okay? So, I'm looking excited for the things that are going on for Thick Chick Vlogs. Let's just say that right now. Um, speaking of Donald Trump and the fact that they're declaring war on him and all this stuff, um, and, and the fact that Ben Carson decided to endorse him, but let me, hold on, since we're speaking on Ben Carson, because I don't want to get off his ass right quick, let me read y'all what Ben Carson said, and I do quote, even if Donald Trump turns out to not be such a great president, which I don't think is the case, we're only looking at four years as opposed to multiple generations and perhaps the loss of the American dream forever. So this fucker, you seriously said some shit like that? Basically, he said, he, so what if your life is fucked up for four years, okay? So what if your lives are fucked up for four years? Like four years is just <laughs> like it's four seconds, okay? Basically, he said, it's only four years of your fucking life. Get over it. That's brother Ben Carson, okay? Moving the fuck on off of his motherfucking ass. I'm just gonna say this one thing right here. Foxy Brown also endorsed Donald Trump. Moving the fuck on off of that. I'm not I'm not even to give her no fucking play. Just saying Foxy Brown endorsed him and Ben Carson endorsed them. But since we own him, let's talk about the fact that somebody um, he was at a rally, and there was a man who jumped over the barricade. You know how they have the barricade set up to prevent crazy motherfuckers from getting to people trying to hurt them. But this dude jumped over the barricade, and I don't know if he was going up there to beat his ass or try to shoot him or what he was trying to do, but he was trying to get it Donald Trump. But before he can get to him, of course, the Secret Service grabbed him, they tackled him, and they got his ass down. And you had some of the Secret Service who were, of course, you know, had, were surrounding Donald Trump because that's what Secret Service are paid to do. They're paid to protect the person at, by any means necessary. That means you catching a bullet to prevent that person from catching a bullet, okay? Um, but... <laughs> 
when that shit happened, of course it was all recorded and et cetera, et cetera. Somebody created a fucking meme, bitch. A fucking G, one of those GIF things, the things that actually move of uh, Bernie Sanders rolling up on the podium in a fucking chair saying boo and Donald Trump just almost fucking knocking the goddamn podium down and recording the Secret Service around him. That shit was hilarious. I'm going to see if I can find that on my, I think I shared it on my personal Facebook page. I'm going to see if I can find it and I'm going to share it on my Thick Chick Blogs Facebook page in case y'all haven't seen that shit. Heal area. So make sure if you're not already following me on Facebook, make sure you follow me. The links will be down in the description box. I will encourage you guys to follow me more on my like page because I will be posting more on my like page than my personal page. I don't know if you guys have no noticed that in the last couple of weeks I have been posting more on my on my Thick Chick Vlogs like page. I haven't really been doing that in the past, but I'm going to do that more because I do want to build my fan base on my on my fan page because that's the purpose of the fan page fan page because eventually I'm not going to be able to add any more friends on my on my regular Thick Chick Vlogs page. So I want my fan page to get a little bit of traction. Plus, girl, it's exposure for your girl, okay? Girl, like I told y'all, 2016 is going to be my biz naive. And I do mean that motherfucking shit. Also, if y'all ain't subscribed to my other channel, I need you to go over to my other channel and subscribe, girl. Because I have a whole lot of shindigs that be going on over there. Just says, and okay, moving on. So like I said, yeah, that's the shit that's going on with Donald Trump and all that type of shit, girl. But we're going to move on off this motherfucking ass. Let's talk about Mariah Carey, okay? People are going ham and cheese on our girl Mariah Carey because Mariah Carey has uh, allegedly refused to pay for the medical bills of her estranged sister. So back in 1994, uh, allegedly Mariah Carey and her sister had this big gigantic fight and uh, apparently they vowed to never speak to each other again. Um, and they have not spoke to each other since. But let me give you a little bit of background on this sister that Mariah Carey no longer speaks to. Uh, when this when this sister was 15 years old, she got pregnant. Before you know, Mariah Carey became famous and all that shit. This was way back in the back back day, okay? Before 1990, before all that, way back in the back back day, when the girl was 15, she um, got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, you know, they didn't have any money because, like I said, Mariah Carey wasn't famous back then. Um, and the girl decided to go into prostitution, and she, you know, got on drugs and all this type of stuff, and she ended up contracting HIV. Now, when the girl contracted HIV, she decided that she was going to release a tell-all book about Mariah Carey, okay? So all of this happened after the fact. I'm pretty sure this was probably more towards the 1994 range. And when this happened, I'm pretty sure this is the reason why probably the argument started. And I don't know what the specifics of the argument were, but apparently they vowed never to speak again. Here it is, 2016. They haven't spoke since. Allegedly, the sister has reached out to Mariah Carey several times. Mariah Carey refuses to talk to her. And her brother um, has recently decided to come on social media and blast Mariah Carey, saying that Mariah Carey has refused to help their sister pay for She has to has, have brain and spinal surgery. And Mariah Carey fuse, refuses to help the sister. And his brother is basically saying how Mariah Carey probably spends more money on her animals than she would be spending helping her sister get this surgery. And, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let me tell y'all a little something. I, I'm one of those people who do not feel like family members should be obligated to pay other family members' expenses. Let me just say that. But when it comes to life life or death situations, if I was worth $520 million, which Mariah Carey is up there in the $520 million range, and mind you, she is marrying a billionaire right now. As a matter of fact, they are getting married in the next couple of weeks um, on this Caribbean island. It's only going to be 50 guests. It's going to be a very, very private ceremony. She's flying all of her guests out there um, on private jets. Like I said, it's only going to be like 50 people. Um, her her husband to be girl. He is purchasing. Okay, he is building from the ground up a two hundred and fifty uh, two hundred and fifty million dollar resort over there in the Caribbean somewhere. So she got bank. So um, true enough, this is penny to Mariah Carey. But at the same time, we need to look at it in the sense that she's not obligated to do it. But of course, if it, it was a matter of life and death for my family, of course I would do it. Now me personally, if my family needs something and I got it, because I, I I really don't feel like I can get that upset with my sister to the point where I would never speak to her again. But I don't know the specifics of the argument. I don't know what happened exactly. I don't know. All I know is they have bowed to never speak again, apparently. And Mariah Carey is holding true to that. You have a lot of people who seriously are those types of people to the point where they can literally tell you that I will not fuck with you anymore and they will not fuck with you again. You have people that really can do that. I'm just not one of those people, especially when it comes to my family. But I mean, like I said, I don't know how I feel about the situation. Of course, Mariah Carey has a whole gang of money, but at the same time, it's her money, and we can't be upset with her because she doesn't want to do it. Do I feel like 
you know, after all of these years of happened in 1994, your sister has reached out to you several times because she wants to meet her niece and nephew. Apparently, allegedly, she has um, said that she has reached out to Mariah Carey several on several occasions. She, want, she wanted to meet her niece and nephew, Morocco and Moroccan, but Mariah Carey has not responded to her. And it's just, you know, uh, uh, it's a really sad situation that her sister is in need of this medical procedure and, you know, Mariah Carey is not helping out. But at the same time, can we honestly blame her? I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's her money. They're not speaking. She basically probably told her to fuck off. I don't got shit. I don't want to have shit to do with you. Then Mariah Carey is holding her to that word. But like I said, I want to know what y'all feel about it down in the comment section down below. Because um, like I said, I know everybody has differences of opinions when it comes to that. It might be a little bit different if it came to something like, you know, a mortgage or some shit like that. You know, if your family member is about to be homeless. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about it down in the comment section. Because I have a whole lot that I can say about that. But me personally, if it was my family... And I had that type of money. Hell, I ain't even got to have that type of money and I would still help my family. That's just the type of person that I am. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section. Could you um, hold a grudge against a family member for so long? If y'all had a big argument and y'all vowed never to speak again, you got rich and your family member needed some medical procedures and you're the person that, you know, has all of the money and you're the only person that can really afford it, would you help that person out even though you're not, you're not speaking anymore? Or would you be like, you know what, fuck it. I don't really give a fuck. That ain't my problem. Moving on. Uh, I don't want to have shit to do with it. Let me know down in the comment section down below, girl. Okay. Last but certainly not least, you remember five, five dollars, five dollars, put it on anything, any five. You remember five dollar foot long Jared Fogle? Okay, y'all know he is in the federal penitentiary. Okay, for um, child having child pornography. Also, um, with being a Chelsea molester, uh, he allegedly had sexual relations sexual relations with several underage girls. Okay, um, probably underage boys who just saying I don't I don't trust this motherfucker. When it comes to Chelsea molesters, y'all ought to know how I feel about them. I will elaborate on that in a second. But anyway. Jared Fogle was allegedly out on the uh, on the prison yard, according to TMZ. Y'all know they got the inside scoop on everything. They spoke to some type of official in prison or whatever. And Jared Fogle got into a physical fight. Well, he didn't get into no fight. Apparently, one of the inmates was like, you know what? I don't like Chester and molesters and beat his motherfucking ass. Okay, beat him to a pulp. Allegedly, the man's face is all swole up and shit. I'm talking about Jared, Jared Fogle's face. It's swole up. His nose was bloody. Busted his lip. Goddamn eyes black and all this type of shit. They did put the dude who whipped his ass in solitary confinement. Um, but Jared Fogle is um, battered and bruised right now. Of course, a lot of people are like, karma's a motherfucking bitch, which I am one of those people. People literally get mad at me, upset at me when I talk shit about pedophiles. Y'all know how I feel about pedophiles. I'm making no secret, okay? One to the fucking dome, okay? One to the dome will put their ass on a fucking island. That's just how I feel. And I guess people who feel this way, maybe they have a person who is a, a, a predator or some shit that's in their family. I don't know. Girl, if I had one in my fucking family, I would say the same thing. One in the fucking dome, put their ass on an island. Bye. Because, I mean, I, I just I don't feel like somebody who is sexually attracted, who can sit there and, and rape children, okay? And, and I, I just... Now, we, we, I do want to talk about that a little bit more. Of course, when it comes to guys who are 21, 22 years old having sex with these 16, 17 year old girls, that's a little, to, to me, that's a little different, okay? I'm talking about these motherfuckers who can sit there and, like, you got these people out there that's sitting there, grown ass, 50 year old man, or sit there and rape a, a damn two week old baby. That's some, one in the dome, okay? One in the dome. Now, when it comes to 21-year-old people or 19-year-old boys having sex with a 16-year-old girl, that's a little bit different. That little motherfucker, that, she knew what the fuck she was doing. If, if she actually gave it up and then her mama found out and, you know, decided to press charges. That's a little bit different as opposed to a grown-ass man, 50, 60 years old, raping somebody who's 13, 14 years old or, you know, it, th that's what I'm speaking of. A motherfucker out here taking shit. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about these goddamn 21, 22 year old boys who having relations with these goddamn girls who around here looking like they goddamn 30, 40 years old, having their mama them be letting them walk around and shit, goddamn titties and ass all hanging out in their girl. 
We ain't not finna get into that. I'm not finna get into that. I just want y'all to know that I just have no remorse for Chelsea Molest. Motherfuckers who rape children. One to the fucking dome. You can get mad if you want to. I really don't give a fuck. Just saying. Moving on swiftly, motherfucking family. Okay, girl, shout out to Justin J. Um, that's pretty much all that I have for this video. I do want to tell you guys that I am coming back with more story times. I'm gonna come back with more Craigslist stories, all that type of stuff. I know you guys enjoy those videos. They just take a little bit of a little bit more time and effort, and especially with it with it getting a little bit hot. Um, y'all know with my job. A lot of y'all don't know what I do, but with my particular job, when it starts to get hot, real hot, or when it starts to get really cold, is when I start to get busy. Um, I just want to make make a note of that. So if you guys don't see me for a couple of days, just I apologize. I'm going to try to record a lot of videos in advance so you guys can get y'all motherfucking life. Um, but if you don't see me for a couple of days, trust me, I will be. Boy, it's just I probably got a little bit busy uh, up and around, up and through that uh, time. So that's probably why you won't see me for a couple of days. But uh, trust me, I ain't gone nowhere. But you, like I said, you can always follow me on Facebook. Um, definitely follow me on Facebook. All of the links will be down in the description box. Make sure that you probably go over and like my Thick Chick Vlogs Facebook page. Because eventually, that's probably where I'm going to be posting at the most. I have been posting over there way more than I've been posting on the Thick Chick Vlogs um, the, the, the personal page lately because I just want to build my fan base on my fan page more. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it on your social media accounts, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.